I've just heard that Heidi, our seawater biochemist. Bio-geochemist, not biochemist. Oh! oh. In about an hour's time, she's going to deploy her water chemistry kit in the top shallow area of the ocean. What it's going to do is it's going to tell us a little bit about the reef health. It's going to measure the processes of all of the organisms that make up the benthos or the organisms on the seafloor. Anything that's like living and not breathing, so to speak, but photosynthesizing and respiring. Photosynthesis is what plants and algae use to create sugars that are then used to make energy through a process called respiration. Let's get on that boat. Nice. Oh. <laughs> all right, tell me through your kit. All right, so right here I have a system called the BEAMS, and that stands for Benthic Ecosystem Acidification Monitoring System. This little sensor, when I take off the cap, it's to measure the amount of light filtering through the water, which is really important for our photosynthesizers and primary producers in the ocean. We have a pH electrode and an oxygen optode. pH is a measure of how acidic something is. Now the carbon dioxide that is used up in photosynthesis and produced during respiration actually dissolves in water to create a mild acid. And that means that Heidi can look at the pH of the water and tell how much photosynthesis and how much respiration is occurring. They're taking up carbon dioxide from the water column and that in effect makes the water less acidic. And so during the day, we should see boosted pH. At night, when those processes stop, since we don't have sunlight, we see more respiration. So we should see the acidity go up. So the plan is we're gonna jump over to the fountain, which is the dive boat. We're on, and the whole science team are gonna get rigged and ready to dive down. <sighs> yep. Okay. And then the fun begins. Nervous and excited. All right, see you guys. We're gonna go in. All good, Ma? Yeah, we'll go right ahead. So we're gonna drop down rendezvous with the tech divers at 15 meters. Uh, the three of us will be transporting this gear down to the bottom as we'll secure it to the reef, either with a little bit of weight or with cable ties. Lots and lots of cable ties. They're the scientist's best friend. That PVC frame will get deployed, and the center beam will connect the three bilge pumps, one above the other, um, for three different heights in the water column, and then the beams will be deployed probably on its side off of one of the legs and then we'll deploy this current profiler and it just needs to be oriented with the sensor facing north. And we have a CTD on the side here which is similar to what we've been sending down with the submersibles and with the tech divers and that'll give us temperature and salinity data and an ADP current profiler and this will give us the velocity gradient where we deploy the beam. So we'll have gradients in current and gradients in the chemistry and combining those can tell us a little bit about the reef health. The structure of a coral reef is made of calcium carbonate and a healthy coral reef creates more of that than it loses. It was good. Beams is in the water, the frame is up. So there you go, another really, really successful day. Heidi and uh, the team of scientists managed to dive down deeper actually than they've ever put any uh, system like that before and install that, uh, that beam apparatus that's gonna tell us so much about this little patch, this reef, how healthy it is, how well it's photosynthesizing and respiring and how quickly it's growing compared to how quickly it's dissolving away. And although it's only one spot in this bit of the Sargasso Sea here, in this bit of the North Atlantic Ocean, it's going to teach us so much that we can then extrapolate to other places as well. So this is really what it's all about. For the next chapter of our deep ocean exploration, check us out on all these social media channels, and I'll see you next time.